welcome back to another review video. I told you it wouldn't be long before I came back with the full review on this little quad palette. There's only four shades in it. I knew it wouldn't take me long to play around with it, get a feel for it. If this had been a cheap little palette, it'd probably be passable. But I looked up what this costs. This palette costs $19. And for how it performs, I just... I would be so pissed if I had paid 19 bucks for this and didn't just get it as an Ipsy thing. So let's just dive into this. I already showed you the swatches. If you missed that, go back and watch that video. But, ugh, oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. So, I mean, just to get color out of them. I've only been using this about a week. And you can, like, see pretty heavy indents into the pans already just to have enough product to really make it show up. Yeah, that's already a big point against it right there. So this first shade, I mean, honestly, these look like they would show up just fine. They look like. Doesn't match up with reality. But <laughs> so the biggest disappointment was this little guy here. Looks like it should have been a really, really pretty rose gold, right? Yeah, you have to layer this shit so thick just to even get it to show up in the first place. And when it finally does, it, like, is barely there. Yeah, it's kind of rose gold, but I mean, it's, like, it's closer to being a highlighter than it is to a shadow. Which is disappointing, because that had potential to be really pretty, but it fell on its face and failed. These two diagonals from each other are pretty damn close to one another. Now, if you believed their website and their version of their swatches, you would think that one is very coppery and one is very mauve-y. You would think that. They are very, very close to being the same color. They're off a little tiny bit, but not by much. Yes, this one does have a little bit more copper to it, and this one is just a slightly pinker version of that. But other than that, they go on virtually identically to each other. At least they feather out, but they don't blend with each other. That is the thing that pisses me off most about this palette. These colors don't blend with each other. They don't blend with other palettes. It's pretty much a, you, you put on one color and that's, that's going to be your color because that's what it's going to do. You can layer one on top of another one, but I mean, these colors are so similar. Good luck really getting it to even show up as a difference. It just is disappointing. And this last one that looks like it should have been pretty orangey. Yeah, it's like a really pale peach in reality. Yeah. I had such high hopes for this quad. I thought it was going to be like the cutest little thing and such like a perfect early autumn, like transitioning summer into autumn quad. I am just very disappointed with it. It is not what it looks like at all. And for 19 fucking dollars, that's unforgivable. I just... For what does show up, I guess it's okay-ish. But, again, if I had paid $19 for this, I would be wanting my money back right now. <laughs> um, for me, this is like a low 5 out of 10. I just... I can't get behind this one. I'm probably gonna like hate pan it just to use it up, but it just, it's not great. It's not great. One of the shades I at least got compliments on at work, but I mean, it was so light where it's just like, oh, okay, that's, thanks, but it just, ultimately it's a very disappointing palette, at least for me. If you want like a very light, kind of barely there kind of look, I mean, it's great for that, or if you want just uh, one color on at a time, it's okay for that, but it's not going to be as vibrant as you think it's going to be, even with tons of layering, even with primer, like, it doesn't matter. You really can't get that much pigment out of it, and I'm super bummed with that. So for me, I would say save your money. There's much better quads out there for a lot less money, with a lot more pigment that looks truer to what's in the pans that you could get. Just saying. You could even get a bigger palette for cheaper than this that does a hell of a lot better than this guy does. It, it really sucks because, I mean, looking at other things that this brand sells, their theming, all the New York theming, I want to love it. I want to so badly because of the names. 
But if they all perform like this, I don't think this brand is really worth your time, effort, money, anything. It's it's a very skip-worthy brand. And that's what I think about that. So, anyways, that's it for this one, guys. So, as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Have you used this one before? What do you think of it? Good, bad, otherwise? Let me know down below as well as anything about anything. Uh, make sure you're following my social media accounts. My Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy. If you're more, it's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, until next time, see ya.